Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I received a package from Claws and they sent me these beautiful nails and their Instagram handle is Claws Press Ons. I just received the package a few days ago and I thought I'd do a little video tutorial since I apply press on nails quite often and quite a few of you have asked how do I do it and how long does it last and Claws has been kind enough to give a discount code that you guys can use if you want to get some money off your purchase when you're gonna be buying these nails so search up claws press ons on instagram click the link in their bio it'll then guide you to their product page and then you can go ahead and scroll down and select your nail length shape color whatever you want what i like about them is that they can customize personally i was okay with the color that they had with pink champagne but if you do have a personal preference to a different color they have an option where you can customize it to a different color so you just need to choose an option where you can talk to them and customize a different color or shape it's totally up to you and their prices range from 30 to 45 it depends on the almost shape or color you choose but yeah you can go ahead to the payment section and you can insert my code down below i'll um, put it down in the description box below in case you guys want to note it down and the reason i like press ons personally is because i've tried doing different types of nails I've gone to the salon, gotten gel, acrylics, whatever. None of them have worked out for me personally. It doesn't last for me. And I don't want to pay $200, $200 dirhams on nails that last me two weeks, literally. I went and got my nails done and it shipped within two days. And it was from a good place as well. And I don't want to have to waste my money on things like that when I could just get literally nails for so cheap. Like I, I've used other nail products as well, the press on nail products as well, the kiss nails and they cost like 20 dirhams and those last me quite long and once they fall off I reuse them. So yeah, if you guys want to see how my nails went from looking like this to this, then keep on watching. So this is a package I received, it came in a little bag and they have a cute little sticker of their logo on the package as well. just gonna cut it into it like So these are the things that I received in the package, the press-on nails, the nail file, and the nail glue. The nail file does come for free along with the nails, but the brush-on nail glue does come for an extra charge, which is 12 dirhams and $3.50. And on the back of the card, it mentions the prep application and care, step-by-step -step what you would need to do, which is what I'm basically going to be showing you guys. So when you're purchasing customized press-on nails, you would ideally need to measure your nails and then get your set because when you're getting customized nails, you only get the 10 nails for each of your fingers. <laughs> when you get a whole set from sh uh, from shops uh, elsewhere, you would only get like 20 to 25 pieces sometimes and they would give you like two of each different sizes of nails like because obviously everyone has different sizes of nails so things you'll need to measure your nails are literally just a clear cell tape scissors a marker and a book so you can do this so so this is what i have previously done when i measured out my nails and so there's a sizing chart that you need to follow um where like your nail will be 14 millimeters for example and it'll be like seven i think in uh nail measurements but yeah so you just take out a piece of so I'll do, cut that and stick it on. Sorry, my nails look horrible right now. And then you just grab the marker and mark the sides of your nails and take off the tape and place it on a paper, a book, whatever. Uh, you need a ruler by the way to measure it out i forgot to mention earlier um and you just place it underneath and measure it on in millimeters and write down the measurements for every single finger of yours oh look at my cute dinosaur book from typo so the first thing you have to do when you're dealing with press on nails you have to cut your nails because you don't want your nails peeping through when you have fake nails on which is what happens to me when my nails have grown out sometimes because I have a habit of sticking my nails back on without cutting them um, but yeah so you're gonna have to cut your nails quite short I hate doing that
and now you're gonna go ahead and buff out your nails because i use press on nails quite a bit i have a little bit of leftover glue on my nails i don't know if you can see it on camera but i'm gonna go ahead and try and buff it out so now the third step would be to push your cuticles back and cut them um so i've got this little tool so yeah when you're pushing your cuticles back try not to push them too far so now that i push my cuticles back i'm gonna take my cuticles off because there is a lot of dry dead skin people will put um some cuticle oil after this but uh, i do not have any so I feel like I take a bit too much of my cuticle sometimes and it does hurt and bleed. The fourth step is to file your nails. So this step is totally optional. I'm just filing my nails because it bothers me that it's uneven so it's totally up to you i'm gonna go ahead and find my nails off camera because this is getting so dirty and i don't want to keep cleaning it so my dumbass literally managed to slice through my skin <laughs> while, while uh filing my the sides of my nails so now for the fifth step after you've done all that you're gonna need to either get some rubbing alcohol or just any regular nail polish remover and wipe your nails after you've done all that just to get rid of any excess oils or any residue that, that's left over after we finish buffing and you know trimming and cutting our nails so now we're gonna go ahead and put the nails on sometimes even though you measured your nails they might not fit exactly on your nail so you can go ahead and file them out so let's see if i'll have to do that got myself some coffee because i'm falling asleep it's uh currently one o'clock in the morning i'm gonna go ahead and do my thumb first it fits but it, it's overlapping a bit so i'm gonna go ahead and file it a bit so one tip that i'd like to mention i've seen people do this they put the glue on the nail Please try and put the glue on your own nail just because it's easier when the nail does eventually fall off the glue residue will be left on your nail sometimes rather than the nail so the stick on nail is reusable then like if there is a little bit of residue left you can go in with the nail file and take it off rather than you know just chucking it in the bin so i'm gonna go ahead and brush it on i prefer brush on nail glues rather than um the ones where you can squeeze it out of the bottle Feel like a way too much comes out then and it's also best to try and push this part first and push it down that way and hold it down for like five to ten min minutes <laughs> seconds so yeah that's one nail down nine more to go So see, this was a good fit. Like that fits fine, it's not poking out of anywhere, none of that. I really like this shape, and like it's, it's something that I've never tried before, so let's see. So this is just a comparison of what my nails look like with the fake nails on and without it. Um, also please don't think that I like stuck my nails on weird or anything because it's overlapping. Um, it's just a chronic medical condition that I have that my fingers are turning inwards. It's a whole different situation but like it looks normal when it's like this. So. So I just finished doing all of my nails and I love how they look. This is my first time trying a shape like this. So this is a shape uh, stiletto. I love this. It looks so cute. 
if you guys liked how these nails look and if you're interested feel free to use my promo code for a discount provided by claws and please don't forget to like share and subscribe i will see you guys later